This week at St. Lawrence, I'm taking you on an exploration of athletics. I had a lot of fun running in high school. It was a really big part of my life, um, in addition to all the other things I was doing. Division three seemed like a good compromise where I could still get a good education, but still do something that I loved for four years. Hockey is my passion. I've always played hockey pretty much. It's my first sport and because it's like the best league for women. Uh, I've wanted to play lacrosse at the collegiate level since I was uh, in about sixth grade. I knew I wanted to get it to the next level past uh, high school athletics. I think you can learn a lot from playing college athletics, uh, both individually and how to work as a group and how to be a leader. And uh, it's just something I've always wanted to do. I started playing squash in high school and I love the game and love being part of the team. So I thought that it would be a fun experience and I've had a great time playing here. Sometimes, uh, you know, with my course schedule the way it is, um, I have to balance, you know, like working an extra couple hours on paper or getting sleep for a meet. Um, so it just depends. I really have to take it like one day at a time and one situation at a time. Also because I'm in Division Three and I'm not getting a scholarship. I really think that I'm here to be a student first and an athlete second. Um, so it's, all, it's always a balancing act, but I feel like with the help of my coach and the help of my professors who are pretty understanding about having to miss class, um, I feel like I'm able to, to keep everything balanced pretty well. Personally, I don't find it difficult. Um, I've been doing that my whole life and it's, it's not difficult to me. Actually, I, I need this, this balance between hockey and school to perform in both. I find myself that I don't procrastinate as, not, as much when I'm uh, in season or when I'm playing fall ball and, and doing that. It also um, it helps to have a lot of a support group from our coaches. They uh, go over our academic sheets every week and make sure that we're on top of our academics and making sure that we're doing well in classes and getting help where we need it. It's a bit of a challenge, but you learn to work around it. And you know, when you have eight hour bus rides, you learn to do your homework on the bus. Um, it's definitely hard, but it's, it's doable and I, I love it, so it's worth it. For distance running, I mean, you really never stop training. Um, it's year round, I mean, you'll take an off week here and there, but really, like, you're trying to train every day to be better than you were the day before. Well, luckily, in cross country and track, I mean, the two things kind of go together. Like, the better you do as an individual, the more your team gets to benefit from it. So, I feel like I have a responsibility to perform well as an individual. Obviously, I have individual goals, but I feel like my responsibility to perform for the team is my primary focus, and then whatever individual goals I may have sort of come secondary to, you know, my responsibilities to the team. Um, we usually travel with 10 girls and nine matches count. Uh, each match is uh, best of five games um, and we need five of those nine matches to win overall. So it's individual but at the same time you need your teammates so it, it's definitely both um, and it's rewarding individually and on a team level. One of the mottos of our team is always trying to leave it better than you found it and so when I was a freshman the seniors made this really important to me and I know as I leave um, as a junior and a senior I'm going to try and impress upon the freshmen how important it is to leave it better than you found it and uh, I think that's the most rewarding experience for me knowing that you sort of pass on the tradition to the next generation. Um, to me the most rewarding part of being uh, on a team is uh, uh, the team spirit, the friendships with your teammates and also um, just to work hard and just put in all the efforts and like at something that's your passion which is hockey for me. Uh, I think the most rewarding thing is the friendships that you make on the team. Uh, this summer I'm playing with a friend in uh, Canada uh, from this team who you know I would never have known. He's from Colorado, I'm from Washington and it brought us together which is great but also just the the leadership that you the leadership skills that you learn um, how to work as a group and um, the ability to tackle adversity, I guess, um, is a really good talent to have um, in the workplace and just in life in general. I would say the friendships made on the team, um, the guys and the girls team travel together and we spend a lot of time together and we've had some, some great times over the past four years and I think that's definitely the most rewarding experience. Um, definitely the most difficult part is running during the winter. Um, 
the weather conditions are pretty pretty tough here in the winter, and so you have to do a lot of runs outside in the cold, the dark, snow, precipitation, whatever. Um, but I guess it makes you tough for later on in the year. In my opinion, the most difficult part of being on the team is uh, to be consistent. Um, you're, you know, you're not gonna have your best practice every time or your best game, so it's 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 pretty challenging to to be consistent on the ice and practice well and play a good game in front of your uh, of your coaches, and they they can't take you out even though you're not feeling well. So to me, it's it's pretty difficult to deal with, but um, that's part of the game. We have really great facilities for cross country and track at St. Lawrence. Um, if I remember correctly, there was a there was a ranking by like U.S. News and World Report um, about like the best collegiate athletic facilities, and I think St. Lawrence was like 19th or 20th, which is really really good for a Division three program. Um, we hosted the NCAA Atlantic Regional Championship for cross country last year in 2008, and I think every four or five years we do that. So that was really cool to just be at a, an NCAA event on our home course. We have a ton of home meets for you know cross country, indoor track, and outdoor track. And that's just, that's a pretty neat, neat part. I feel like at a lot of other schools, you have to be on the road all the time and you really don't get the comfort of just being in a facility that you're comfortable with and used to. So I really appreciated that part about being at St. Lawrence. Well, as you can see, we're on the North Country field right here. It's the old AstroTurf, and we're actually in, a, in the process of funding for a new uh, field turf field, which would be a great addition to the facilities. We have um, one of the best athletic facilities that I've seen in terms of our uh, lifting facility. We have a varsity weight room that we can go in pretty much all day with coaches there supervising us to make sure we're being safe and doing the right kinds of lifts. We have some of the best coaching staffs, trainers and everything um, at all times. We can use them on, in the off season, during season. They're really there to, to help you out and make sure that you can be out there on the field and do what you need to do. Um, the squash courts are only a few years old. Um, they were donated by a trustee named Dick Roby. Um, and we had nine courts up until two years ago when he donated an all-glass court except for the back wall. Um, it's tinted, scarlet and brown, and it's a treasure because most schools don't have that. So we have really a top facility here, and it's great to be able to practice, especially with the boys, because we have enough courts for that. Our seniors came up with this idea that um, this team, that we are a train, and we we are all together and that we're all we're each of us are a car and that that's pretty much it and it says on the back of our shirts like are you on board because like it's important that every single girl on the team is on board every single game our coach talks about Hernando Cortez who is a conquistador from uh, the 1600s who when he landed in the new world he decided to burn all the boats um, in order to send a message that there's no turning back. And that's kind of a motto uh, that our team has embodied, that there's no turning back. We've set a goal and that we have to do anything uh, in our capabilities to get there. And, uh, you know, we're a tight-knit group that uh, is ready to work hard, be a team, be there for you on the field, off the field, in the classroom. Um, and it's a really good support group where, you know, we love each other, we're a family. Um, with the running teams at St. Lawrence specifically, definitely the best supportive group is, uh, is definitely the alumni. Our alumni are really active at St. Lawrence. They show up at all the regional meets and the NCAA championship meets. Um, they're very involved. There are a lot of teams that compete at like citizens races and uh, various relay races like the 100 on 100 in the summer or the Reach the Beach. And I'm really excited actually to, to be a part of that alumni group when I graduate. And I think that they're a really unique component of St. Lawrence running compared to other collegiate running programs that I'm familiar with, and I, I really do appreciate that. My family has always been supportive, but since um, I'm playing here in the States, it's pretty far away from home, so they kind of follow me on our website, so they really like it. After every single game, they go on the website and see what, what the score is of our games, and I, I really like it, but they, they come up here like once in a while watch uh, watch our games because uh, they're pretty impressed with the level of our game. Um, the student se section is uh, pretty big here at St. Lawrence. Uh, the students are really supportive even though they don't come to every game. They still follow us on the websites or on campus. If you uh, happen to see them, they're always like interested in knowing how it, it goes in, like, in games and stuff. Their support is really nice, uh, especially uh, 
home games, I think when they, they come to our games, they're, they're pretty loud and that's what we like. They, they really encourage us and they're playing some instruments, which is nice. And also the community members, they're, uh, they come to every home game too and they're, we really appreciate their support. And since like the rank is pretty small, but that, that's really nice when we, uh, we are uh, getting good scoring chances on the net and like you can hear like the expressions of the fans and the, and the ring so that that's really nice that's that's what's great about the uh, support of our fans a lot of us come from New England and our parents are able to attend most matches so we always have parents bringing food and there to support us and it's really it's really great to have everyone together with an array of varsity teams as well as intramurals and club sports athletics here at St. Lawrence keep things exciting from St. Lawrence University, I'm Chelsea Newfer.